Welcome to this video. This video explains how to create complicated parts and assemble them in our models. We want to model a hink as you can see in this figure and some parts are really complicated and we need datum plane, datum axis and datum points to create the part. In videos of this series the complete modeling of this hink including the creation of contacts and explanation about contacts and also meshing the parts and full analysis of this problem will be explained but in this video we only explain how to create parts and assemble them create part for example flange three dimensional deformable solid and we can continue and draw a cube by this dimension at first we create a rectangle by this dimension and then extrude it by 0 0.04 and we can now add the flange to the ink by extrude we choose a surface and choose a line for vertical axis and draw a rectangle again the size is 0 0.02 then extrude it now we should round the end of the flange by a fillet and the radius is 0 0.02 and this is our flange <coughs> we need a hole for the pin in the flange also we create it by cut we choose a surface and a line for vertical axis and draw a circle and enter its radius and cut it from the part by choosing through all this is one part of our model and we can copy it to create other side of the hink other flange has a hole for lubrication and we choose the name flange with hole for it and now we should create a hole on this part of the flange creating this hole needs some datum point and plane from tool datum we can create plane axis and point and coordinate system datums at first we start with point and create by entering the parameters the point is located in one quarter of the curve and similarly another point on this curve now we can create another point in the middle of the line that connect these two points This is the place of our hole. We create an axis from the center to the point and create a datum plane by point and axis. From this point, this datum point and this datum axis, we have a plane. Now we can use the plane to cut the hole from the part. We choose the plane and a vertical line and draw the circle for the hole. For cutting the circle, we should note that 
the cut should be done until the next phase and we choose this phase and cut will be done until this phase now we have two parts and we can create another rigid part as the pen this part is also 3d but that's not deformable that's analytical rigid and we choose revolving to create an analytical rigid part for the pin this is the revolve axis and we create a line with the radius and length of the pin it is worth mentioning that we cannot create an analytical rigid part by extruding a circle and revolving this line is the only way to create an analytical shell for the part pin and this is our pin for rigid parts we should choose a reference point the reference point represents for six degrees of freedom of the part and since three of these degrees are rotational it's better to locate the reference point on the axis of the part therefore from now rotation and rotational velocity of the part will be around this axis now we can go to the property module and create an assigned material for ink the material is steel and linear elastic we use elasticity and elastic and enter the parameters of the steel here the model is in metro and we can use Pascal unit then we create a section and assign the section to the part we also assign the section to the next part and the rigid part does not need any property now we can go to the assembly module to start assembling the parts and create our model by create instance we can choose all parts and enter them independent and also use at offset we have two ways to assemble the part by using translation and rotation or by using constraints here at first we use rotation and we rotate this part around the x-axis by the degrees of 180 and one more time we rotate this part this time around the z-axis and now we can put the part in the right location by translating it we translate this part from this point to this point the location is ok now and we should only add the pin in the correct location in this time we use constraint and we use coaxial constraint to locate the pin in the right place only the pin should be translated in the direction of its axis we want a symmetric position for pin we translate the pin from this point to the center of the hole in the ink and now we can see that the pin position is not symmetric and 
we should translate it a little we translate pin from the point 0 to the point 0 0.01 and now the pin is in the correct location and now save our model I hope this video was helpful for you guys please watch our next videos about completing this model in the series of modeling of a hing contact see you in the next video